uh, actually I will try to do it in the uh, first part, uh, unconventional. Uh, maybe you have realized there is a fresh wind coming from Bern. And I'm re really happy to have this crew behind me, really. So they deserve a special applause. Not the first one, the all panels. Please, thank you. <laughs> then I have actually two small gifts to the beautiful ladies who impressed me a lot. <laughs> Please, Anissa. It's not uh, easy for them to live in this, uh, actually, uh, men's world. Uh, but anyway, thank you. Really impressed me a lot. So now the, 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 the part. If I may ask you, check it out. Yeah, uh, let, let me try to uh, uh, summarize. First panel, we focused on en enabling a fully digital postal ecosystem. Our panelists highlighted the post as an indispensable service provider. They noted the post's competitive advantage over the service providers, reflecting on their vast physical network and connection to the communities as they serve. We discussed how these assets could be taped by partners as long as the post is ready. We agreed this, there needs to be cultural change with these organizations. We must also educate our customers to facilitate the adoption of new technologies by marginalized communities. The UPU is working to ready the network, raise awareness between partners, and set the right business and policy conditions for digital transformation. Our role is also to bring people together to establish partnership and launch projects. Our partners include governments, private sector, and operators. They should work together to find the most relevant solution, working together. Second panel, we explored how we might leverage emerging and advanced digital technologies through the postal sector. Advanced technologies are opening up immense opportunity for the post to move ahead, but it is key that we maintain our core asset, our customer trust. To do this, several elements are key. To ensure the security of these technologies, to ensure standardization for a seamless customer experience, the UPU has a role to play here with its partners. To maintain a bridge between the digital and physical, to ensure that we don't lose that personal touch with our customers. We must bring them along on our transformation journey. We can bolster the adoption of advanced technologies with a personal touch through the post. Third panel. That was the exciting one, I agree. We looked at how the UPU is working to provide opportunities to connect with partners through the consultative committee. Our recent members have joined us today to provide example of this. The consultative committee provides a space to ensure partners' needs and concerns are considered in the decision-making process within UPU. This committee also benefits wider sector partners with matchmaking benefits, connecting them directly with postal operators, regulars and regulators and ministries responsible for the post. So we encourage everyone in the room today to take the advantage and join to the consultative committee. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank, thank you very much uh, as well, uh, Marian. So this is now a lunch break, and we resume here as planned at 2.30. So one hour, 15 minutes lunch break. That's enough, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you again. <laughs>